Morning all, how are we doing? <clears throat> so, here's Tackham's version of our British Apache. And that's an impressive box art, and it's an impressive size to the box as well. I mean, this is a, yeah, this is a massive box. So, what do you get inside? Now, I've heard, I've only heard from one source that um, apparently in one of these uh, Tackham patchy kits uh, the decals were a bit nasty um, I don't qu quite know how this one's going to fare but um, you know uh, well, I suppose I just have to wait and see um, when I get to it but there's not really a lot the, the stencils are, are there but it's just roundels and the gunship one and gunship two badges on the front really all the rest of it is just, it's just stencil work so Unless someone brings something out. I mean, I don't even know whether our, our guys have ever done any nose art on any of theirs. I, I'm, I'm not up to date with this, uh, as in, you know, markings and stuff. But <coughs> it's here. Now, I'm definitely going to get the Meng one. You get three different versions, so they're all different registrations. 204, 205 and 184. So that's obviously an early one. And the two outer ones are the latest ones. Me being me, probably just go for the standard, you know, none of this big big gunship one and two call signs and badges on, so I'll probably just go for this. So, uh, yeah, um, right, well, without further ado, let's open it up. So when you open it up, you're confronted with all of this lot. So this is, uh, this is a full box. Now, I won't bother reviewing the kit because it's... There's no point. It's been done many a time before. But what I will say is we'll have a look at this. The plans. So, um, I think this is, if I'm right in saying, which I'm pretty sure, that this is the first tackle kit I've ever built. So, I opens the box up. I'll get the plans out and I'll turn over a page. We've got some caution some sem applying decals and removing PE. Then you've got all your sprues laid out there with your metal etch and your two sheets of decals. So then we go into the build. <clears throat> so here it's telling you to drill holes for all the bits and bobs that go on it. And here it's assembling the cockpit and then it's just telling you what decals to use. When I look at this, and I'm going to come back to this, but we're going to go through the book first, just to show you, right? So there's something missing, which I think is, you know, fairly important. And every other kit manufacturer does it, and they do it in their instructions as well. But this one doesn't. So there's part three, here's part four, where you're starting to build the main rotor. All very nicely diagrammed, I must admit. Can't fault them for that. I'm definitely fault them for this one thing, though. Then you go over the page, and you've got six, seven, and eight, which is the gun. Uh, assembling a few bits in the windscreen wiper. Then you're starting to add the bottom bits and the front nose nose uh, uh, sensors, and up there as well. And then this all goes on there. Going over the page, these are the side cheeks with the wheels where they fit them in, and then they're all going together in part eleven. Part twelve. Fitting a few more bits and bobs, a bit of PE here and there. Same as part 13, so it's, that does one side, this does the other side, port and starboard. Then you've got your wings, your little wings going on, and then some chaff and flare dispenser boxes going on. And then you start to assemble the, one of the engines. It says there, make two. Cool. So how they cut down on paperwork there is, they just tell you how to make one. They're both identical. And just tells you at the end, make two. Fair enough. But again, something's missing. If you haven't guessed what it is yet, you're going to kick yourselves when you get to the end. So now we've got the exhaust. And again, make two of those. Make two of those. Then you're fitting them all on. The engine's included. Onto the bodywork. Turn over the page. We're already up to step 20. Still no sign of what I'm looking for. Oh, and then just kick my cat. Oh, never mind. Sorry, mate. Um, so then the engines are going on with the cowlings. 
And if you want to open the cowlings, it's telling you to put the cowling stays in and another sensor, a rear facing sensor at the end. And then you turn over the other side, it's got a big, uh, what looks like a, a box underneath and a, a part of the tail combing to where the rotor shaft goes up, although you don't get any of that. Putting the wheels together, some more aerials going on it. Then the rear wheel assembly with the rear tail fin going together. Uh, then you've got your rear rotor that comes together with some sensors that are hanging off the side of the, uh, the engine casing. Then your main rotor hub for your main rotors. That's all going together. Your disco ball at the back. That's going on. And then finally the donut going on top. And then it tells you to put the fuel tanks together, the wing pylons together. And then on the last bit, it shows you how to put the rocket pods and all that connect up and then finally load it all on with the end of the wing tips and some sensors again. And there it's telling you to put a stack discharger on the end of uh, on the end of the rotor blade. Turn it over here and then we've got a layout of where all the stencils go and your markings. Thanks very much. Seem to be a pen lid. Uh, so you've got all of that, and then finally, uh, on the thanks. Oh dear. And then finally, this section here, you got your painting, and then your decal guide for whatever one you're doing. Righto. Anyone guessed it yet? That's the biggest clue. That bit. Not once. In this manual, including there, does it mention what colour to paint it? Starting right up at the cockpit here. So it gives you all the parts, be it metal etch, plastic, whatever. But just something as simple as this. The seat and there's no absolutely no color markings whatsoever nothing and then when you get to the end it doesn't tell you what color it is there either it just says painting a marking guide but there's not one mention of any paint you turn it over this gives you the other kits that they're doing you turn it right to the very back and you just got a picture of the aircraft there's absolutely nothing in the kit i've looked through it absolutely nothing not even in this writing Nowhere is there any reference to any paint. Yeah. So, <laughs> I could put it together like this, but it's just going to be... Well, if you wasn't someone in the know and you just really wanted this kit and you picked it up, I mean, that is a difficult kit. I and mean, it's just looking at it, there is hundreds of parts in it. And for a beginner, it's not really what I would say is a beginner's kit. With the help of maybe, your, you know, your, your dad or whatever, you, you might get things, you know, sorted. But, uh, you know, it's a, it's, it is a, it's not a beginner's kit. No way is it a beginner's kit. But anybody that has got experience in building, building kids you're gonna you're gonna get this and you're gonna think well what, what, what do I paint it what color goes what so at a guess it's probably really minimal colors so you're probably going to need a black for the cockpit some white <coughs> or a light gray for the buttons in there um, probably uh, like an olive drab and a of some sort to go on the outside and then you can just weather it how it is now in saying this i'm pretty sure there is a couple of builds of this online but they haven't they're not doing this kit they're doing the other kit so if anybody has got the other kit have a look for your instructions and just see just go anywhere in the book and just see whether there is any mention of any paint colours. Because when it comes to this engine, there's no paint colours whatsoever. Absolutely nothing. It just tells you all the part numbers. 
but no reference to any pain. It doesn't even tell you anywhere here. This is the only block of writing, and it doesn't tell you anywhere here whether you can refer to their website to go to a, a place where there's reference to what colour this thing is and and uh, and so forth. But even on the paint plans, nothing. No mention of any paint colour whatsoever. It just says British Army Air Corps, one, two and three. All the numbers for all the decals to go on it. And it, it but why call it a paint and a marking? You might as well just call it a marking guide because there's no mention of any paint whatsoever. And I've never had a tackle kit, so I don't know. I don't know whether they're all like it and it's just playing bloody guesswork or whether it's just somebody has forgotten to put all the paint colours. Don't know. But there we go. But what a beautiful specimen she is. I mean, just looking at that alone, it's, um, you know, yeah. Absolutely fantastic. I don't know what the Meng one's going to be like, but this one, if this, if this is anything to go by, then um, hopefully the, uh, the the Meng one will be the same as this moulding wise, but a bit more advanced in the uh, in the plans wise, as to uh, giving us some uh, colour paint callouts, <coughs> as this one doesn't. Bummer. <laughs> but don't worry, Tackham. You know, we all make mistakes, don't we? And uh, it's just how you how you get around it. So hopefully from now on, if if anybody sees this video, and you know, uh, you know this just gives you a heads up on what to expect. Um, I don't know whether you know. I suppose I better get in touch with Tack. I'm really give them an email and say, do you know that your latest Apache? By the way, all the instructions just relate on how to build it and not how how to paint it as well. I don't tell you what any paint colours is. There's no mention of any paint, you know, um, companies. So it's like, like, there's a Mr. Colour or a Tamiya or a Humbro or a AK or none. Nothing. No, nothing whatsoever. Brilliant how they've laid it out, but not a single drop of paint in the entire book. Oh, well, never mind. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for looking in. Um, not really a lot going on at the moment, but this is something that has, has um, I bought. But what I would like to say is... <clears throat> Model Works, New Haven. That's where I got this from. Ian, Andy, thanks very much, boys. It was good chatting to you when I came down and got this, and we did have a bit of a laugh, as always. Me being the village idiot. So, um, yeah, thanks very much and thanks to Model Works. Also, a big hi to Mark. I know he's not in the in the country at the moment, but um, uh, Mark, the actual owner, um, yeah, th hi to him as well because he, he sent me a couple of pictures uh, across of um, a car model that I'm building. And, um, yeah, thanks for that, buddy. Cheers. Uh, right, so Model Works, New Haven. Go and pay him a visit. Um, they're open... Uh, six days a week, yeah. Monday to Saturday, uh, 10 till 4. If you're really lucky, they might be open till 5. But 10 till 4 is the is the time. Uh, give them a call. I don't know what their phone number is. I haven't got it to hand. Um, so you can call them up if they're saying you want what specifically want and you don't want to travel all the way down there. They should, I think they should be having their mailing system up running soon, very soon. Um, they were talking about it when I was down there. So you'll be able to do mail order from them as well. But Model Works in New Haven. There is another uh, company that um, sponsored me for um, for um, quite some time now, and that's a company called MilitaryModel.com. Unfortunately, uh, the owner of that company has decided to close it down. Um, bit of a shame, really. He's been going, I think, he's, if not a year, but best part of a year, may maybe just a month over, but... They've done their best. They were finding it extremely hard to get recognised. Um, and so the business is up for sale. It was put on Facebook the other day, I noticed. And I went down and saw them yesterday. And Ollie, the manager down there, is not too happy. But, you know, it, it, what, you know what can you do? What can you do? It, this, if it's happening and it, it's not happening, as it is in this case, then you've got to give it up. 
um, the other side of the company is doing extremely well because it's been around for years and years and years. Um, but, you know, I'm not here to promote that side. That's that's another company altogether. But the military model side, um, yeah, they've... Um, they're ramping it down and then they're, 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 it's up for sale to whoever wants it. Um, if not, they'll just run it dry and then eventually that'll be it. It'll be gone and finished. Bit of a shame, but you never know. But it'll be around for a little while longer. So, I mean, if you want them to survive, militarymodel.com. Um, they're not a massive shop. They're probably half the size of New Haven's Model Works. But they're in the Farnham area. Uh, Dippen Hall, I think, is where exactly where they are. <clears throat> um, if you put a search in for Dave's Airsoft Limited, um, they share a shop with them. So that's that's where they are. Um, and if you want to go and pay them a visit, like I say, it's in Dippen Hall. Um, they come up on Google search. Just search Dave's Airsoft and it'll come up and you'll see Military Model uh, alongside them. Um and maybe, maybe, just maybe, it might turn things around. I don't know. I'm not a magician. My name's not Merlin. That's the cat. So, uh, yeah. Um, but every little helps, as Tesco says, in the ways of trying to support these people, um, keep their business going, and, you know, keep us with... with Because he does a full Mr. Colour range, or he did. He's lost out on half of it now. But he did a full Mr. Colour range. He did a full Tamiya range. Um, so yeah, uh, Model Works does exactly the same. They're hoping to get a few more paints in. Um, so at the moment they've got Tamiya and uh, Mr. Color and Revel. Um, I think they're hoping to get AKs all in as well and um, a couple of our SMS, I think it is. So yeah, but anyway, there's two model shops there. So that's Model Works in New Haven, uh, Military.com in Dippin' All in Farnham. Two shops there, one's doing all right and surviving. That's, that's the Model Works. And the other one is now up for sale, unfortunately. But whoever watches this, you might be able to save the day. So you never know. But, um, yeah, either way, just when you go down, just tell them I shouted out on YouTube on my channel and they'll, they'll know who I am. Right, OK, fellas. Well, that's it on the Apache um, helicopter. It's just the plan. There's no point going in through the kit because, like I say, everybody's seen the bloody kits of these things. I think the only thing that might be different is um, the, the fret possibly i don't think so but it'd just be the decals for the rf um, for the army version that would be the only only difference really um other than that yeah great right okay i'm gonna go i'm gonna start to drink that now and um yeah we'll see you again soon Teddy bye woo